welcome, welcome, welcome uh, to another episode of the Boxing Bookie. We got a good one. Uh, we are back. Uh, David Benavides and Alexander Vazdik, in which promises to be a one-sided beatdown, I believe. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow three boxing, three boxing blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers of bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Get the lock of the week. We hit the, we hit the lock last week. We hit it the week before. We're hitting the lock of the week every week. It's easy money. The Patreon is just $5 a month. It gets you all the perks, everything you'd want, just $5 a month. Uh, makes you all the money in the world. It makes it doesn't make sense not to do it. Also, join the Patreon. I mean, also subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Uh, let's start with Benavides, I guess. Let me pull up my notes here on, on David Benavides, front foot guy. Obviously, we're we're all familiar with the Mexican monster. The red flag, Rojo, Bandero, whatever. Uh, big, strong, and way more mobile than you would expect. He's uh, he's a lot quicker and a lot more fit athletically than you would think for a guy who seems like a, a big plotting, you know, slug. He, he's he's got decent speed for a guy that size. A little sloppy on his feet. Crosses his feet, crosses his feet, hit him. He still has some amateurish things. He leaves himself wide open. He takes a lot of risks that he shouldn't be taking. He leaves himself open to be countered, crosses his feet. There's just sloppy things in what he does. Good skills on the inside. Offensively, as a puncher, he's pretty complete. He mixes up the head and body well. He's relentless. He's got a really good jab, shotgun jab. Ah, ah, you know, it, it, it's like George Foreman. It's a light heavyweight version of George Foreman or two middleweight version of George Foreman's jab. It, it, it's, it acts as a power punch. It really does. It's not the fastest thing in the world. It's not the quickest, you know, flick of a jab. But it's it's quick enough, and it's it's it, it has impact on it. It's impactful. He's, this guy is just built for it tough. Um, he's got a relentless gas tank. You can put a ton of miles on him. He just wear he, he just wears you down, wears you down, wears you down. So accurate and strong on the outside. He's a pretty good fighter from the outside. His strength is on the inside. Obviously, has good power. Great body puncher. He changes levels well. I really like it when he you know he'll be up top for a while and then he'll. he'll come downstairs and he's you've left your body wide open because now you're in a high guard because he's just wearing on you and he starts ripping body shots he's a great body puncher he creates a lot of torque on the inside right like he doesn't need space he he's really good at creating power like a lot of times you see guys will throw arm shots on the inside and there's not much on them he can really create torque in a, in a, in a small space which isn't typical for a guy that size right usually guys who create torque a lot of torque on their shots or, or smaller guys, Tank Davis, Mike Tyson, right? Uh, big guys don't usually create a lot of torque on the inside. The power is usually at the end of their punches. He creates a lot of torque on the inside. He's good against the ropes. He can fight with his back to the ropes. He can he can switch you around. He's got, like I said, surprising hand speed. He just keeps coming forward. And he can also switch stances, too. Like, he's a really good fighter who's just going to weigh you down, break you down. And he can do things. Like, he's not going to necessarily, to a guy like Vaz, they're going to lose every round until he, until he breaks you down. He can, he can do rounds. He can win rounds. I don't love his volume. You know, I don't love – he needs to jab a little bit. He needs to do things a little better, and he has some – Bad tendencies that can be fixed, but it's just, he's, he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. He, he's he's really complete for what he he's he's a complete puncher, right? Like he's easy to hit. He's got bad footwork, but he's so talented, so gifted for his size, and he's so strong and so relentless with such a good gas tank and good power. He's just a load to deal with. I like said he's not perfect by any means, but what he does makes your life hell. Vosnick is a guy that I used to like a lot. Like he's 37, 6'2", 75 inch reach. So he's got good height, good reach uh, for the weight class. 
subpar competition since his return. He got beat down by Better Be in 2019. And since then, he hasn't really fought anyone of note. Straight up and down, power boxer. I like him. Good footwork, good angle. You can see that this is a, a thing that they do in the Ukraine with the footwork. Good stiff jab. High level basic guy with good footwork, good pop. Like at 32, he was a really good fighter. At 37, I just think he's shot. He hasn't shown it. He got beat down. Like, I don't, how's he going to win this fight? He doesn't have any advantage other than he's got better feet than better Vitas, and he's just shot and, and worn. And you can see the decline. Good, you know, he's a lot more stationary now than it used to be, which isn't going to bode well for him. Good footwork, good angles. Good, clean, sharpshooter. He also changed. He's a good fighter. Like, he was taught well. He comes from the right school. It's it just like father time gets the best of everyone. I'm, and I'm not trying to sound cliche here. I just don't see how he can survive this. Like, I don't see at all how he can survive 12 rounds of Benavides. I, I think he gets stopped personally. He gets stopped late in the fight. He lets his... He lets his hands go. He's, he's good volume, good angles. He, he's a good fighter. A great combination, great combination puncher. He puts his shots together. Good feet. He stays in front of you. He gets away from you. He does what he wants in the ring. It's just he's slowing down. And with a guy like Benavides, if you're slowing down, you're more stationary now than when you were beating Stevenson and, and, and stuff like that, Don Stevenson. He's just going to be a sitting target. He's going to be a sitting duck at a certain point. And, you know, if, if this fight, if Bosdick was five years younger, this is a real conversation. This is a real, real conversation if this was Bosdick of five years ago, but it's not. You know, he's not super fast or athletic, but he's fundamentally good and he's athletic enough to have gotten this far. It's just that, you know, he's starting to decline now and he's, he doesn't, speed's not great anymore. Like, there's really no path to victory for him. Uh, I think he's going to get beat down. I think he's going to get stopped, but let's, Let's look at the odds. Let me get this pulled up here. Hang on, let me get this pulled up. And, and this is going to be one of those things where you should join a Patreon because I don't think they have the props out on this yet because we're definitely going to look at Benavides by stoppage. Benavides is minus 750. Yeah, no, just the money line right now, um, as you guys can see. But he's minus 750. Vizic is plus 475. Vizic has no chance. This is a great bet to add to a parlay at plus 750. And I, I, as a standalone bet, I would like to put money on better, better be a Benavidez, sorry, Benavidez to get the stoppage. I, I think Benavidez certainly stop him. Uh, but you know, I would make this a one and a half times your normal bet. I think this is easy money. Uh, sorry about that. So a hundred fifty dollar bet makes you twenty bucks. Uh, I think it's easy money. And this is a great bet to add to a parlay. It's safe. If you want to do a standalone bet, when the odds drop, we're going to take a look at the under. We're going to take a look at the over. We're going to take a look at Benavides by stoppage. We're going to look at this fight to not go the distance. Uh, I, I definitely think Benavides stops him late. Um, I think that's a, a good bet, but we need to look at the odds. So when the odds do drop on the bets, join the Patreon, $5 a month. Link is in the description. It's also in the, in the banner below. And this is another way that we can make money. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. This is fairly easy, fairly simple for me. Benavides slows him down, stops him. An old, washed-up Vosdick. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is June 10th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.